Hey Libra. I hope that you are doing amazing. Happy Tuesday. I hope all is well. Welcome to your reading, Libra. We're going to be getting into the energy, things that you need to be aware of. Please be reminded, Libra, that this may not resonate. Um, there may be messages here that sound like your story. Maybe messages here that sound nothing like you. Please do not force any shoes to fit you. Leave the messages that are not for you for someone else. Thank you to everybody who has liked, shared, commented and subscribed to me and my channel. I very much appreciate your love and your support. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, I'm very grateful to have you here with me. Let's see. What does Libra need to know? Spirit, please guide and protect me as I channel the messages that Libra needs to know at this time. Please and thank you. Tell me about Libra. Messages for the sign of Libra. Tell me about Libra, please and thank you. We have fate, detours, divine intervention came out in the reverse. We have nurture and compassion. Somebody could be coming towards you, Libra, to avoid karma, to stop something from hitting them. This could be a water sign, doesn't have to be though. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, reflection, projections. This could have been a person who projected a lot of negative energy onto you. They could have blamed you a lot for things all the time, be it being them. Okay, something like that. Memories and nostalgia, healing and inner child. This person is thinking about the good times with you, Libra. Very, very straightforward message. Um, you could have children with this person. There's something about them wanting to heal something with you, but it's because they're not having a good time at life, in life at the moment. They could be going through some sort of um, season of bad luck, you know, bad karma. Um, this person's definitely thinking about you. It's something about connecting the dot back to you, them wanting to make something right with you because something isn't going right for them. This is a person who wants to come in to try and make something right, possibly give you some sort of olive branch, possibly apologise as well. This is a person who's been looking at themselves, okay? They're looking at their part in a situation with projections and reflection. This is a person who is sitting with themselves right now, but it's due to them receiving some sort of bad luck. Tell me about fate in the reverse and divine intervention detours. Longing and separation in the reverse. And renewal and spark. Somebody wants to come back together with you. It's like they're realising. This is a person who definitely was okay with a separation before. This person could have left you quite confidently in the past, Libra. Um, and was okay with that for a while. But with separation and longing being in the reverse, this is somebody who wants to now close the gap. But it's because of something that's going on with them. That's, that's where this stems from, okay? just to make you aware of that. What's at the bottom of the deck? Limitation and fears. I feel like to some degree you will be apprehensive to get back into this. I feel like you are cautious towards this person now due to something that has happened in the past, control and tactics. This person could have been very controlling. You could have been fearful of this person. This person could have been abusive as well. Don't take it if it doesn't resonate. There's something about that here. Give me two more, then we'll get into the tarot. We have attraction, hot, Mars energy, and we've got receive and open. This person is going to come in quite hot and heavy. This person could try to spark up some sort of physical connection with you, sexual connection, especially if you had that in the past with this person here. Um, this could be a fire sign, doesn't have to be, with the Mars energy being here and um, this fire energy, receive and open. They want you to be open to them. They want you to be open to their advance is what I'm getting from this. Masculine is in the reverse. 
they're really going through something that's knocking them sideways, especially if this is a masculine energy. OK, and for some reason, this is a person who feels like coming back towards you will avoid something. I will show you this card. Fate, detour, divine intervention is in the reverse. This is somebody who is avoiding something. My first thought on this is if somebody feels the need to make right with you to avoid bad luck or to avoid some sort of consequence, cause and effect. This is what this is out here. If somebody wants to make right with you, link up with you, um, rekindle with you, heal something with you only because they're receiving bad luck, I would think twice, okay? I would think twice because what happened to healing something with you before karma started to be on their ass? What happened to them making right with you or apologising or, you know, spinning the block or rekindling before karma started to F them sideways? Just a thought. Trust and divine timing. Family and home. For some of you, you've waited for this person to receive karma. Especially if you had a home with this person, family with this person, this person could have upped and left the family. Okay, maybe the masculine energy here, they could have went missing somehow, trust and divine timing. For some of you, you've you've kind of been patient, waited for this, thoughts and isolating. A lot of you have been spending time in deep reflection time, especially if you have a home to take care of commitments, facade, um, beginnings. Third eye, clarity in the reverse, cycles, completion, yeah, toxicity bound, freedom in the reverse. You have kind of been on the sidelines, Libra. I feel like kind of getting on with things, even if you don't have children, you know, whatever commitments that you do have, possibly even spending time with family, nurturing yourself, looking after, you know, taking care of what you need to take care of, Libra. Um, you've kind of in the back of your mind always kind of felt that this person needs to have a consequence for maybe what they put you through and this is happening divine timing was at the bottom of the deck with that masculine energy in the reverse it was just about timing you've held the pattern you've you've been consistent you've been getting on with your commitments and what you need to do you've held it together and now is the time that somebody is going to be reaping what they sow. Everybody must reap what they sow, okay? And therefore, you are going to be reaping your, what you sow. And if you've moved in a good energy, if you've stayed, you know, um, if you've stayed committed to the cause, whatever that is for you, um, if you've been authentic, then the wheel will bless you accordingly. But I do feel like you've got someone here where the crap is hitting the fan for this person. I'm going to get you some tarot, Libra. See what this is. Let's take a look. Tell me about Libra, please. It's very fast. We have the Ace of Cups in the reverse, Page of Wands in the reverse. We have the King of Wands, the Three of Cups in the reverse. Oh. The Justice card, the Queen of Swords, the Two of Pentacles and the Moon card came out in the reverse. So we're going to take it that way. Ah, uh, the skeletons are coming out in full force of that closet. I'm telling you, I was just telling um, Virgo, judgment. Ah, uh, a moment of silence. I'm telling you, Libra. I'm telling you, Libra, and this is your energy. I, I say it all the time. I don't know why people mess with Librans. I don't know why they do it. I don't know why. Wheel of Fortune, now is your time to win. 
okay? Now is your time. The wheel is turning. Where are you on the wheel, Libra? Where are you on the wheel? Judgment day. Judgment day was always going to come. It was just about a matter of time. Divine timing. Yes. Yes. It was. Yeah, this person definitely could have betrayed you somehow. I was saying it to Virgo. You know, I just filmed Vir Virgo's reading. There's an energy right now. I'm not an astrologist, but there's an energy right now of things going on in the... Um, astrologically um with the planets i'm not an astrologer but i'm starting to kind of try and read up on astrology a bit more to understand a bit more about where things are how things happen and how it's connected um and there's a big energy of exposure not just in my readings i'm seeing i'm seeing collectively in other readings on youtube um other a few other readers that i do watch there's exposure happening left, right and centre. People who are wearing masks, people who are trying to hide things, people who, you know, thought like they could avoid karma, that they were above the law. Their bums are going to be sat in some seats coming up here. We are moving into a period of you reap what you sow, cause and effect. Consequence is coming for those people, okay? And it's not, I said to um, Virgo as well, it's not to say that we are the good people and they are not the good people. That is not what this is about. It's not about sides. It's about who you are as a person, how authentic you've been. Have you moved in a genuine energy or are you disingenuous? Have you lied, cheated, stealed? Have you tried to defame other people? Have you stolen from people, stolen joy, stolen money, got with people for wrong intentions poor intentions you know been doing shady crap behind the scenes to other people stepping on people's necks and hoping that they don't notice cause and effect is the big big energy that is that is coming up here we are going to be moving into a retrograde as well like there's there's a um retrograde coming next week i believe i don't know what specific date that is we've got the ace of cups in the reverse we've got the justice card we've got the page of wands in the reverse okay you were dealing with somebody who was possibly very no action towards you if any low action to no action okay you could have felt like you were banging your head against the wall like you were hitting a brick wall with somebody okay I feel like you had to set some boundaries with somebody who could have been very hot and cold with you in and out. I feel like you could have been with an individual who definitely found you extremely attractive, but it was all about the passion. I'll be honest with you. I'm going to give it to you. No sugarcoating anything. Um, this person was all about the passion, what they could gain. With the page of wands in the reverse, this is somebody who is extremely immature. Okay, This could be somebody who is a... Um, a non-starter, somebody who starts things and they never have any follow through, somebody who doesn't commit to things, you know, but passion wise, oh, they're here for it. They're here for it. They're here for that. Ace of Cups is in the reverse. I feel like this person's heart chakra is closed off. I feel like this person could have closed off to you. OK, but sexually, they didn't mind getting getting in the sheets with you, getting in the bed with you. But anything of an emotive nature, you could have felt like you were just hitting some sort of non-starter here like your car wouldn't start with the justice card it's time it's time you set a boundary with somebody and that was the beginning of you sending a message to the universe here libra to say deal with their backside deal with their backside this is what this is deal with them give it to god you know that let go and let god oh yeah let go and let god let go and let whoever you believe in handle the situation and man, are they handling the situation because this person now wants to return. Okay, you're dealing with somebody who was all about the passion. King of Wands to the Three of Cups in the reverse. This is a person who is messy. This is a person who there's they don't have the best reputation. I'll tell you that now. They could have there could be a lot of gossip happening behind this person's back. There's the Three of Cups is right behind the King of Wands back. Okay, and we've got the King of Wands sitting there, kind of high and mighty. But this person is a page of wands in the reverse. Where they sit on this throne that they put themselves on, they don't deserve that throne. And it's not to say I'm dethroning somebody or, you know, saying, you know, talking about somebody's value as such. It's how they carry themselves. Okay, this person has a very distorted image 
of who they are, which they really aren't. And it's due to the way that they conduct themselves. OK, this person is not very respectful. This could be a person who, as a child, they were a deviant. OK, and it's kind of like overspilled into adult life where they don't feel the need to respect people. This is a person who definitely treats people how they feel they they want to treat them. OK, this person leads with passion. This person could indulge in a lot of one night stands as well. But this is coming out. I feel like there are people gossiping about this person. I feel like there are a lot of truths that this person tried to hide with the moon being in the reverse and the two of pentacles over what this person has been doing, saying, what not. Take it as it resonates. Things are being revealed about an individual here, about their antics. Two of two of pentacles. The juggling has become too much. They're not, they're not respectful. The universe is putting this person to sit down and not on the throne that they, they, they feel like they should be sitting on. The universe will put you to sit where you belong to sit, not where you put yourself, not where you choose to put yourself. Now, I'm not saying that people shouldn't have a sense of um, pride. OK, everybody has ego, but there's a time where the ego is low vibrational. There's a time when you're feeling yourself too much and it's and it's at the detriment of other people. That should never be the case. That should never be the case. It's about having your feet firmly on the ground, having your ego in check, knowing who you are, holding yourself in high regard, but not crapping all over other people and disrespecting people. OK, the universe does not like that. They don't like that. This person is, there's a lot of gossip that's coming out about this person. People could be talking about this person, friends, associates, whoever this person rubs shoulders with. It's messy. It's messy. It's messy. It's messy. It's messy. You were right to set a boundary with this person. You were right to set a boundary with this person, with the Queen of Swords. Tell me about the Ace of Cups in the reverse. This person could have closed off to you emotionally, but they were okay to sleep with you. Could be a fire sign. Could be a Libra. I don't think I said the signs. This could be a Pisces, Cancer. Um, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Libra like yourself. Ace of Cups in the reverse, please, Spirit. Scorpio energy as well. The star in the reverse. I feel like you lost hope. And to some degree, I do feel like deep down, this person knows that because they were closed off emotionally to you, there's not much hope in them getting this off the ground with you. I feel like this person realises that it could be too late. This could be an Aquarius page of swords. They're definitely trying to find out some sort of information about you as to maybe how they can revive something, renewal and spark, how they can, you know, light the flame again. This definitely could be a fire sign, strong fire energy. There's love lost here, especially for you, Libra. Eight of Pentacles. A lot of you have diverted your focus. You could be working on yourself. A lot of you could do something with your hands, some sort of job. You could be a creator. Yeah, there's an energy here of you looking at yourself, concentrating on yourself, loving yourself, licking your wounds. This is you centering yourself as well. Some of you could do something in cosmetics. You could make things, make candles. You do something creative. A lot of you could be very creative. You could be embarking on a project that involves you creating things making things to sell Etsy, that type of thing here. And this this kind of loss of hope in this, this situation where you feel like love was lost here, um, it's kind of like spurred you on to kind of work on other things. I feel like your focus is on yourself, on things that you can kind of control in your life, if you like, you know, change. With the Queen of Cups, yeah, the Three of Cups, a lot of you could be spending time with friends and family, getting your confidence back with the Queen of Wands, and it looks good on you. It looks good on you. It does, Libra. Tell me about the Justice energy. Actually, in fact, tell me about this Page of Wands in the reverse. Page of Wands. 
page of wands to clarify the page of wands in the reverse i cannot make it up the seven of wands this is somebody who you very much needed to put up a guard against okay this person definitely played a lot of games they were hot they were cold what did i say what did i say you didn't know where you stood with this person very immature page of wands reverse page of wands in the upright you were on you were off they spoke they didn't speak this person was open to you hot with you one minute didn't see them the next this was a game player this is somebody who's extremely childish extremely childish but yet they sit on this throne they put themselves they choose to put themselves i don't know why i'm getting it like that it's like this person puts themselves in their minds they really feel like feel like they're hot crap they do they feel like they're the shit they do they feel they are the shit the business the creme de la creme the best thing since sliced bread this is this person but they're not that they're not they're not they're not they're not at all they're not they're childish and they don't see that about themselves that's the worrying thing about this they actually don't see that about themselves who they think they are and who they actually are are two different people and the universe has had enough of this person tell me about the king of wands and the three of cups in the reverse the world card oh yeah oh yeah the people could be talking about this person online whatever it is that this person's been doing this person definitely could like clout you know they love the clout they like the, the gram they love the gram this is a person who loves to do it for the gram okay and the same people who possibly gave this person um props who possibly you know was hype a hype man or hype women for this person you know supported this person at one point they're turning on them with the world card that cycle is over we are moving into a new cycle where their reputation is being tarnished and it's due to what they've been doing their supporters are turning on them especially if this person has a presence online word, word has got around and there's people who do not like this person i'm sorry you know whatever whatever they thought they were and the image that they like to portray okay is not it and that not it is is people can see the not it people can see that they're not it. five of swords in the reverse their games are not working anymore the facade is dropping okay who they are is who they are and it's being revealed okay and this is a person who's looking at their investment at the moment and they are reflecting tell me more about this moon in the reverse the three of cups yeah yeah third parties This person playing people off against each other. People are chatting about this person, I'm telling you. The same people who supported this person are turning against this person. I can see it here. The hermit in the reverse. This person's lost. They got lost in the source. Now they can't find themselves. Tell me about this. Oh, the eight of wands. I cannot make it up. Go and check out the meanings of these cards, please. Libra Collective, if you're not new to tarot, you know what this is. This is chat. The, the people who once supported this, per this person, whoever this is, the people who were the hype men, hype women for this person, gave them the clout, that attention that they so greatly desired and they thrive off of. These are the same people who are turning on this person. They're turning on this person. They don't like the they don't like the attention now because it's not positive. Because of who they are. Who they are isn't positive. And that's what people are chatting about. King of Pentacles. This person definitely likes to present themselves as being more stable than what they are. People are possibly seeing gaps in this now. Tell me about the Queen of Swords, please. The Hierophant, the Hanged Man. And the king of wands. You setting a boundary with this person 
has caused them to respect you more. The Hierophant is here. Now they see you as somebody who they could commit to. They see you as somebody who is a cut above the rest. They see you somebody here. It could be a Taurus, or Pisces, or another fire, a fire sign, sorry, a fire sign. Because we've got two King of Wands here now, the same person. This is a person who respects you now. Their perspective on you, setting these boundaries, it's changed the game. It's changed the game. Now they have to respect you. Now they have to respect you because to some degree, this person realizes authentic now by looking at you. You setting a boundary with this person is the best thing you could have done to this person, for this person. This King of Wands energy here, this player-like energy, this person who thinks that they're sitting on a throne. Meanwhile, they're the Page of Wands in the reverse and the Page of Wands upright. They have to respect you. They have no choice but to respect you. And because people are talking on this person's life and how they've carried themselves now, this three of cups in the reverse here with the eight of wands, three of cups, the moon in the reverse, their crap is being revealed. People are now talking about their shenanigans. Word has got around, especially if this person sleeps with people of the same circle. This person could go to that person, go to that person, go to that. Word has got around. And that clout, that, you know, pedestal that they love to be seen on, you know, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, this person's unstable, they're losing, okay, fortune is not on their side, this person could be going through money loss due to flashing the cash, doing it for the gram a bit too hard, and this is a person who is forced now to respect you. Because what they're receiving, the backlash of their actions they don't like it. They don't like what people are saying. Word is getting round to them that people are not looking at them in a good light. And this is this person's worst nightmare. Tell me about the justice. What is the justice card? The Libra. The Knight of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, this liar. This cheater. This scam artist. Three of Wands in the reverse. Things are not coming in for them. It's not working out. The Page of Cups. Now they are humbled. Could be a water sign here. Now they are humbled. The devil in the reverse. Yep. The ten of pentacles in the reverse. And the death card. They are forced to transform. They are forced to transform and change and reform. And this is a person who now wants to rebirth. Reignite something with you. Something that they burned down themselves with the four of wands. They are going through instability and they feel like you are going to save them, okay? The moon in the reverse. I cannot make it up. The shit is hitting the fan. Sorry, it's hitting the fan. Their true character is being aired. The laundry is out, swinging on the line. They can't take it. They can't take it. They can't take how people perceive the real them they can't take it and now they want to go into their hiding or their bubble here i can't make this up this is a person who's being humbled their toxic ways are causing instability it's having an effect on their family their connections people who they once felt like loved them okay this is a person who's being talked about amongst family friends People who they who gave them that boost, gave them their ego boost, stroke this ego to make them think that it's okay to not respect you. Now they are forced to respect you. They will respect you. They will. The Hierophant and the Hanged Man, they will respect you. But this is only after people dragging their name through the mud due to how they've treated people. And it's not just you. It goes further than that Libra it isn't just you that they've treated this way hence the reason why I said in the beginning skeletons are coming out of that closet skeletons that they thought they had locked you know threw away the key and they're sitting nice on this throne that they put themselves on no 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 the universe is going to sit them where they belong the universe will sit them where they belong it's God it's, it's higher power you're not you're not higher than God that determines where you sit so just make sure you remember that when you are treating people a certain way cross watcher you can't just put choose yourself to 
who you can't choose yourself you can regard yourself highly but who chooses is bigger than us and this person seems to think that them putting themselves on this throne knowing fully well that that is not who they are was was gonna that was gonna cut it that was gonna cut it that was gonna cut it no 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 this person's being ripped off the throne that they chose to sit on and it wasn't even a it they didn't even deserve to sit there it's like the universe is saying no 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 you get up from that front seat and you need to go and sit back there where the view to the stage is, is not that clear and you're gonna have to work to get to the front row now which is what they should have been doing in the beginning. Respect people. That's what I have for you. Someone is being sit down. And I feel like this is confirmation for someone. Because I feel like you've been waiting for this. It could have been years. Let's get you some tea cards. I feel like this is tea, tea territory. This reading. Tell me to finish the reading. Any more messages for Libra? What's the tea? Always partying. Yep, yeah, that fits what I've seen. Fishing for comments. Let the tea spill the tea now. Let the, the let the tea cards spill the tea now. Fishing for comments, always partying. Yeah? Okay. What fell over here? Bad reputation. Can we make... Can, look at that. Look. 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 I cannot make it up. Thank you, spirit. Can we get an amen in the house? Let's see. Dirt digging looking for dirt on you or vice versa people are digging up this person's dirt in their head overthinking stressed over analyzing what is here moving this person will be forced to go and create a whole new person whole new life for themselves because they don't like the heat in the kitchen the people who once celebrated them okay the people who they seek clout from yeah who helped them to thrive in their ego. Now look at them as not shit. Now they're forced to move. Now they're forced to transform. Okay. Legal issues. Court judges, immigration, lawyers, etc. Kissing. <laughs> no car repo, car issues. Clout hungry, says anything, does anything, makes crap up and dramatic. I cannot make this up. This person loves off social media and the attention that they get from people who are not even that important. <sighs> Marrying for money. This is definitely the type of person to do that. I'm going to get you a couple more just to finish the reading. Um, what will they be doing? Sorry, Libra, it just cut out. I'm going to add on this little bit. What will they be doing towards Libra? We're finished now. Knight of Cups, apologising. The star, healing something with you. It will be totally up to you if you go into this, but this person, they, they don't like the heat in the kitchen and that's the reason why they're coming back. So be very clear on that, Libra. I don't know what this person did to you, but I feel like to some degree, this person sees you as the prize now with the nine of pentacles. This is a person who's been humbled and wants to come in with an apology because they see who the star is. They see who the real authentic star is. I'm hearing, will the real Slim Shady please stand up? I don't know. I've never, I've not... Heard that song in years. The King of Cups. Extending love. This came out in the reverse. Now they want to make a decision on you. Oh, really? Sorry, my reaction. Three of Wands. Now they don't want to wait. This person's going to be rushing to connect with you now. Ace of Cups is in the upright. You see? We've come full circle. We've come full circle. Look at this. See that ace of cups that was in the reverse, that closed off energy. Oh, now they're opening. 
oh, the floodgates are coming now because they don't like the consequences of their actions and how they've been treating other people. The crap is hitting the fan and they want you to save them, Libra. The page of wands in the reverse. I cannot make this up. They're childish. They haven't changed. Libra, I'm going to leave you there because I've already gone over time. Wow. If you like how I read, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. But until next time, sending you love and light. Listen, you're winning. You are winning. You are the prize. That this person is only realising it now. They're only realising it now and it's because their consequences of their actions is hitting the fan. Libra, I love you. You take care. I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.